control it? You can't control hunger. Can you ever tell yourself I'm not hungry? No. You're hungry. When we're fasting, we know that we're hungry. Yeah, you're still hungry. Yeah, but you still don't eat. I mean, you don't eat, but you're still hungry. Okay. That same type of feeling is in your heart, that you can't control it, that you actually want to stop. Okay? And the way to do that is by coming close to Allah and, like, praying to Him and, like, asking Him for help and stuff. In any language. It doesn't have to be Arabic. Yeah? I have another question. You know, you said that, um, that we always want to blame somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. How can, you said that you can do it in a test. How you can do that? Like, if you fail a test, how you can do that? He told me to copy his answer. Do you guys want to answer or should I answer? You. No, I mean, if you fail a test, how are you going to blame it on somebody else that you failed it? Well, you could blame it on a few things. Like, let's say, for instance, you're studying and your baby sister's crying all night. No, not that while you're taking the test. No, I mean, you can blame other. You can put reasons as to why you failed. Not just say I didn't study. But they won't care. Exactly. Yeah. You got it. Yes. <laughs> I'm going back to Chicago. No. Yeah. Uh, lately, you said in the khutbah that um, usually if you commit sins, then. Uh, if you uh, repent to Allah, Allah will always forgive you. Mm -hmm. Like usually, um, can you explain that concept a little more? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, He always will, He always leaves His door open, right? It's like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His repentance is kind of like Denny's, right? It's like 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. <laughs> always open. One kid liked it. Nice. Uh, so it's always there. The repentance is always there, right? And that's actually part of the test. Do you know when things are always there, what usually happens? People tend to take them for granted, right? So when things are always available, you tend to kind of like take it for granted. And this happens, right? How many of us have a PS3 or Xbox here? Right? PS3 or Xbox? Okay, me too. So you have a PS3, right? And the first week that you get it, like, is that controller ever out of your hand? No. Like, you're still praying. You're like, oh, my God. It's always in your hand. Then after, like, and after a month, do you remember the PS1? The original PlayStation? Yeah. yeah. Or like the PS2? Do you remember like after like a month or so, you kind of stop playing a little bit, then eventually you get to the point where you just stop playing altogether, it was like boring? Right? And this happens with everything. It's still fun for me. Mashallah. And so, <laughs> it's, it happens with everything. It happens when you get a new car. Like how many of you are like, we're dying to get your license? And how many of you, now that your mom asks you to go get groceries, you're like, ah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when you're, when you're... I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. He's touching my thighs. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What do I do? I just need you to be quiet. Don't touch your body. Okay. <laughs> so when something is new and when something is not always accessible and you're just getting it and there's like a small window for you to get it, like a sale or something, you guys know like Black Friday. Black Friday. You see like, imagine if Allah's repentance was like Black Friday. Like one day of the year. Like <laughs> everyone's outside like Best Buy. Like can't wait to get that one le netbook. It's like, okay, dude, chill. Right? Allah's repentance is always there. And so for us, it's a test because we tend to take that for granted. We tend to be like, okay, it's always there. I'm always going to be able to repent. Right? But there's two problems with this. There's two problems. Number one, I've had many friends, many friends, close friends, who recently in the past two years have died. Who are my age. One of mine recently, he, uh, they found his car in a lake. What? Audi S S4. Is it a Toyota? Yeah. You should care about the person instead of the car. I don't need your help. Audi S4. They found his car in a lake. He was 22 years old. He just graduated from uh, undergrad. He was going to law school. There was another friend of mine. He was in a car on the way back, uh, coming back on the way back from a club with his other Muslim friend and these two girls. And uh, they crashed. And he's the only one who died. Everyone else survived. Uh, and he was also a half the Quran, Oh, that sucks. He's on the way back from a club. What? A club? Yeah. So, first problem with always knowing that somebody's going to be there and take it for granted is that we can die. I mean, I can die, like, going back to my hotel, right? It's possible. It happens. So that could happen. We could die. Because this life is not meant to be forever. It's not. That's what the next life's for. Forever. So we want to be in the good place because we don't want to be in the bad place. The second thing is that the second thing, and this is a good point, the second thing is that if you keep putting off asking Allah to forgive you and repenting, it'll be harder to turn around, right? It's kind of like when you dig a hole and you keep digging and digging and digging. The more you dig, the harder it's going to be to climb back out. So you're always going to see the sky. It's always going to be there. The repentance is always going to be there. But the more you dig and dig and dig with your sins, 
the harder it's going to be to get out because the hole is deeper and deeper and deeper. Right? Mm -hmm. So, even though Allah's a, a lot of times, how many times do you hear people say, like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll repent when I'm older? Or how many times does Shaitan whisper in your head, oh, I'll just stop later? I'll stop tomorrow. I'll stop next month. I'll stop when I go to Hajj. I'll stop this. There's a lot of people. A lot of aunties I met, like, um, or uncles and aunties, like, I'm going to put on hijab when I, when I go to Hajj. Or I'm going to start praying when I go to Hajj. I'm 60, 80. Right? I want to go to Hajj now. I'm 22. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get up in there, man. It's like, there's already like 5 million people going, <laughs> you know? SubhanAllah. The more that you dig, 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 dig into the hole of sin, the harder the climb out is going to be. And it's not going to be something like, okay, I'm just going to put more work into it. No. Like she said, she said that sometimes when you want to repent, it doesn't come easy. It doesn't come easy. Because your heart isn't into it. So the more you dig, 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 the less your heart might be into it. And you're going to get frustrated. You're like, why am I not feeling this? So make sure, inshallah, that we stop digging and we start filling the hole back up. Slowly. So it's hard. Eventually, you're just going to take a huge chunk out of it. Again, you're going to make a big sin. But remember, the best time to repent is when? SubhanAllah. There's a hadith that says yeah. that the, the books, yeah? The best time to repent is when it's raining after a yeah. time. Yeah. Um, the Prophet said that the best time to make dua, yeah. The best time to repent is right after you do the sin. Literally right after you do it. There's a hadith that says the angels, they, when they write the sin, they keep the... Or, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll do that. When, they, when they're about to write the sin, they have the book open for four hours after the sin is committed, and they hold their pen waiting for the four hours to go by. So they don't have to write it. So they're sitting there with the book. So if, I, if my mom says, clean your room, and I say, oh. So they're waiting. That's a sin, by the way, in the Quran. It says, Don't even say, oh, right? I know all of us probably have done that. So the angel sits there, he's like, alright, getting ready to write it. He said, oh, for four hours, just waiting, waiting, is he going to say, stuck for Allah? Is he going to actually repent? If I do it, okay, pulls the pen away. If I don't, four hours hits, right, 